Hello viewers, I am Sakib. In this video tutorial, I am going to show how to use streamline diagram or cross functional flowchart diagram by using Microsoft VCO 2010. If you have Microsoft VCO 2010 or 2013 or the latest version, then you can do it easily. But you need to have Microsoft VCO 2010 or the latest version to follow accordingly. According to your requirements, you can place enter or you can just write it down. It will set automatically. If you want to adjust according to your way, then you can press enter and then you can type again. Now you can apply some designs. So click on the design tab and from there you can use backgrounds. Right now no backgrounds are there. It is transparent right now. So you can apply background. And we want to apply this background. Then you can use borders and titles. You are not viewing it. We are not viewing it because it is covered cover up right now okay so you cannot fix titles here because borders and titles are actually with backgrounds so you have to set it there so click on background and you can set titles there return to page one uh, we didn't learn how to add pages if you can add page right now from page here we have done our diagrams a little bit for adding page you can apply design change the form click on the home tab and you can click on the title and you can increase the size you can apply different colors uh, easily uh, by using the fill option if you want to add background color for a particular uh, swim lane uh, you can use shadow in this way you can add background right now we are not going for that so i'm undoing it you can click on a particular you can click on a particular shape then you can use fill colors to use your specific color in this way you can apply our initial uh, designing uh, right now we can add different pages or additional pages you are going to uh, add additional pages then you can do it easily by going to the cross functional flowchart tab and then you can use add a different page as soon as you are going to add a different page you will see the background is there border and title is there all other things are available there titles and faces are gone so you will have to adjust faces and titles again you are going to add link from one page to another you can click on basic closure shapes and you will see that off page references and on page references are there so easily you can click an on page reference there so if you want to reference page one to page two you can add there easily then you will see a dialog box it is going to show new page you can add these off page reference to a new page to page 3 existing page because we have created a little while ago we have created a new page which is page 2 so I have keep shape text synchronized that means if you are going to write anything within that shape then if you whenever we are going to change text the text another page will also be synchronized uh, we will see that in a little while and insert hyperlinks on shapes and you can drag it from here to here so you can type continue as soon as you are going to type continue there you can see if you double click there you will see continue is written here because we synchronize text so if you change text here again then that text will be changed you can see hyperlink icon so if you double click there it will it is going to move from page 1 to page 2 in this way you can use off page reference and in our future videos we, we are going to talk about sub processes and other things as well so I do not need an additional page right now that's why I'm removing this right now so you can delete a page if you don't want you can see the there are are four different sections one is named as recruiter another is HR admin and the third one is hiring manager and the fourth one is candidate human resource recording swimline diagram is a business process in this process there are different three different phrases these are high level steps can vary from organization to organization according to your requirement it displays which people are responsible for which processes the connectors are going to show uh, which process will be done after which uh, which one there is the starting point and here is the ending part so in this way you can easily create a swim lane diagram by using microsoft visio 2010 to verify a swim lane diagram you can click on process click on the process tab and you can click on check diagram if it is going to show diagram validation is complete no issues were found in the current document that means that the way you have designed your diagram it is totally correct and all the connectors are connected one process to another swim lane diagrams can be used in a unified modeling language activity diagram here is an example of a swim lane diagrams where it is uh, i have designed it vertically i didn't use it horizontally you can see swim in here you can drag these shapes from these portions to in the workspace you just have to drag these shapes from here to here and you can create different swim lens and 
you can see these these activities uh, are going to be performed by authors these activities are going to be performed by reviewers and these activities are going to be performed by site administrators uh, this is an example of email activity uh, diagram where swim lens are used if you are going to start a bpmn diagram which is actually business process modeling notation diagram then uh, you can also see swim lens or pool show lens where this is a lane and this one is a lane and this one is a lane this is an example uh, in our future video we will discuss more about it how to create a dpm and basic shape diagrams where swim lens are used in this video tutorial, we have learned how to create a simple swim lane diagram or cross-functional flowchart diagram by using Microsoft Visio 2010. Thank you very much for watching.